So normally I start my construction updates over, you know, at the front. But we're gonna start by the launch tracks today because things are looking interesting. You can see who appears to be a Vacoma employee going and um, doing something with the electronics on the launch system and the brakes. They're going down the line, hitting the buttons, or doing something with a screwdriver and they're hissing. Obviously, <laughs> I don't really know exactly what they're doing, but something. And you can see another Vacoma employee, presumably at the end of that launch track there. And there's some people working on the wirings underneath. So that's pretty interesting. Testing something. So I'd assume it's some kind of brake calibration or something they're doing because they keep going up and down and messing with all the control panels which are not covered yet or anything and I'm hearing some hissing and clicking and I see there's a guy on the scaffolding down below, actually two guys that are adjusting some of the wiring and hosing it appears. So I think it's some kind of calibration process going on here but I'm not in the roller coaster construction fields so I can't tell you for sure. Okay, I don't know if you're able to see this but there is a train on the uh, second launch track that is being pushed backwards. So let's see if they're gonna launch this. That'd be pretty awesome. It is still covered. I don't know how well it's gonna come across on video, uh, but it's still got the factory covers on it. Or maybe just protect the cover something. I know my commentary is kind of annoying, so if they end up launching it, I will shut up. Hopefully, and just let you see that. But yeah, I barely see a train on that second launch there. I don't know if it's easy to see if I step up here or harder. I don't know. I don't know how that changed anything. <laughs> These are going to come across as some pretty poorly made videos because mostly just the shooting process here. I'm just shooting all sorts of clips. I don't really know what's happening. Here's the other thing though. I see people working like landscaping guys working down in like the queue area and I would think they would have to clear the whole ride perimeter before they could do a, a launch or that would be normal protocol. So I actually don't know if they're gonna test as long as there are still people down there. I don't know. But I feel like they probably already tested the first half because other how would the train get halfway through the ride? Unless they just put the train on there? That's also possible. I don't really know. So anyone that's like super duper in on the industry, does Vacoma do their own ride control systems? Because it's definitely Vacoma employees that have been going up and down, making adjustments on the electronics and stuff on this track. But I've seen that job normally done by like Urban Andre or Consign or whoever the control system contractor is. So does Vacoma do their own? I don't know. I'd be interested to know if anyone knows. Okay, so actually if I come back here, you can see the train a lot better. So you can see it does have some protective covering over it. It is supposed to like scatter thunderstorms on and off today. So maybe they're just protecting it uh, from the storms. Yeah, it doesn't really look like factory covering. It's just tie down straps over some tarps. But you can see the, the green color of the trains look super sick. I just don't know how much you'll be able to see. But, uh... As long as we're here, I'll see if I can get a good angle for you all to see the trains a little better. They're covered mostly on the top, just with those tie-down straps. So you can see the sides and bottom of them. Shiny new colors. Uh, they, so they have this theming thing you can see where there's like dirt splashed up on the splash guards or whatever. I'm not an off-roading vehicle guy. I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually a really convincing effect. Even sitting here in person, not too far away, it really does look like there's dirt splashed up on them, but I know it's like a decal. On the back, you can see two fuel canisters as a theming element and some little bumper stickers, like there's one that says, I heart bears. So 
about the waterfall point where it dives under and over the waterfall you can see the rock work appears to be done so they've taken down all of the scaffolding and stuff looks like it's about ready to go they're not running water through it yet the actual rock work itself uh, appears to be done also since last time they put up a taller green fence behind this fence so i guess they took my advice from the last video i don't know <laughs> So I actually have a photograph from just like a week and a half ago of this water pool being filled. But as you can see, it's pretty empty right now. There's a small puddle in the corner, but it looks like they drained most of it out. So I'm going to guess that they just filled it up to just test something. And they're going to leave it empty now for a little bit longer. That appears to be a little bit more landscaping going on, or at least they've seeded the hillside here instead of just leaving it dirt, which is nice. I don't know how much is left to do with the pump and stuff, but aesthetic-wise, it's about done. You can actually see holes in the rocks with some kind of box in there on the right. There's another hole on the left. So I'm gonna assume that that's gonna be where your on-ride photograph is. But I don't know, that's just my guess. So it doesn't look like, and I don't think that they're going to be seeding the entire hillside here. That would be a pretty big endeavor, but it's all right. It'll be dirt for a little while, and I assume they'll be growing grass as time progresses. It's kind of what we saw around the other side. This tree is kind of in the way, but at least it doesn't have leaves on it yet. You can see a little bit more of the theming going on for the key line and such. So we have the canvas tents pretty much done. You can see a different colored tent. That's the last tent before you enter the station building over there. And there are a few more small theming elements that have been sprinkled in a little bit that you can barely see. For example, there's that rust brown colored box over there that says lock your food. So, you know, bear box. It's kind of clutter considering the theme and everything. A few other little things like that sprinkled around, but it's hard to see exactly from this angle. And of course, don't think we're gonna be able to see anything inside any of those tents until it's opening time for the ride in May. So it looks like they're setting up with some of the light posts or lamp posts to go around the uh, path, or at least something like that. So that's pretty interesting. Going oh, dragonflies and can see and cut right. Should be able to get some good views over this fence. Hopefully, I'm not told I'm not allowed to be here. You can certainly see a lot more color on the building. And there's actually the Big Bear Mountain sign, which is just a rock that says Big Bear Mountain. Looks pretty cool. And now that some more of the aesthetic on the tents are done, they are looking a lot better. I will say. All right, really cool thing. I just ran into an employee uh, who says he watches my YouTube channel, so that's pretty cool. Um, but he was um, showing me a clip on his phone. They did like a test of the first launch. I think he said yesterday. So I have, I've seen that. I don't have it, but I've seen it. And he said, I don't think that they're going to be testing it today. But I think he said tomorrow is when they want to do a full circuit test. And unfortunately, I won't be here tomorrow because I am going home all the way back to uh, Nashville to spend, you know, Easter weekend with family and of course I'm not gonna bail on that just to get some testing footage but hopefully next time I'm here it'll be testing. I am in the Nashville area now editing this. Cool. So yeah as of today which is April 7th full circuit testing 
hopefully should have begun, which means hopefully next time I'm at the park, I'll be able to get some footage of testing for y'all. Unfortunately, my next few weeks are looking pretty busy, so I probably won't be able to like spend a day on a weekend at the park. But since it is so close to me at school, I should be able to be able to squeeze in some time to get over there for just a few hours to start getting footage of testing as they're doing so, and to continue these construction updates because it's the first time I've been able to closely follow in person with a ride's construction, especially a roller coaster of the scale, so that's pretty fun. And I like to share that with you all, obviously. And while it may sound cliche, Go ahead and hit the like button if you did find this useful because that will help more people find this construction update especially those that might be interested in a new ride at dollywood and otherwise i would implore you to subscribe if you haven't already to see more from big bear mountain in the future hopefully it's opening in may and then just other stuff around the uh, roller coaster and amusement park as a whole uh, space and industry so